Hey guys, what's going on? Spipprix here, back for another LEGO Ninjago video. In this video, I'll be counting down the top 10 least valuable Ninjago minifigures. A few months back, I made a video titled the top 10 most valuable Ninjago minifigures, and you all seem to really enjoy it, and so here is sort of a sequel to that video as we take a look at the least valuable minifigures. LEGO has made so many different Ninjago minifigures over the years that not all of them are worth as much as others. And and so these are going to be the top 10 and all the information and data that I collected for this video that I'll be sharing with you guys is based on the new condition of the minifigure. That is, if you wanted to purchase the brand new minifigure that's not used, no one's played with it yet. And I'm also going to be using information from Bricklink.com, which is a site where you can buy different minifigures and pieces from other people who are selling LEGO products. And now with all that background information out of the way, let's go ahead and jump right into this list. Number 10. The first minifigure making an appearance in this video is Zane ZX. This minifigure was from the Serpentine season of Ninjago from 2012, and nowadays if you want to buy him in a new condition, it'll only be around $2.77. For most of the minifigures on this list, there's a reason why they are so cheap to this day. And Zane ZX here, well, he actually came in a very common polybag back in 2012 called the Hidden Sword, in which you could get this minifigure, and so it drastically reduced the value of him. Now also in that same year he came in five different sets which is absolutely crazy to think the same minifigure came in five different sets and so once again he was a very common minifigure at the time which decreased his value. But also in number 10 here I'm gonna also include Cole ZX. Cole ZX and Zane ZX are the two least valuable ZX ninjas from 2012. Cole here only goes for around $2.80, so only about $0.03 cents over Zane. And he also came in a poly bag as well. Number 9. Coming in at number 9 on this list is a minifigure that I personally did not expect to see and I did not expect to be putting this minifigure in this video. This is the 2016 rebooted Kai with ZX Ninja Hood. That's kind of like what he's referred to as. This minifigure was from a LEGO Junior set called Snake Showdown which retailed for around $15 in the United States back in 2016 and to this date this minifigure is worth around $2.68 sense if you want to buy him in a new condition. This Kai minifigure didn't end up having much value behind it since it did come in a very cheap set, as well as the fact that it was kind of two Kai minifigures previously that we'd already gotten put into one. The ninja wrap on him came in the serpentine season as well as the final battle season, and the torso and legs are the exact same ones from the rebooted sets. So there really wasn't much that was special about this minifigure, and hence he's not worth that much to this day. Number 8. Next up on this list is the first villain minifigure. This is Snappa, one of the members of the Fangpire tribe from the Serpentine season of LEGO Ninjago back in 2012. Now this minifigure goes for around $2.53 nowadays, and that is partly because he had his very own spinner for only $10 back in 2012. He also came in Jay's Stormfighter, which was around a $30 set at the time, and he also came in an activity book that was sold at different bookstores and book fairs and such like that, and so he was definitely a common minifigure to have. And so due to those reasons, this fellow Serpentine member is unfortunately not worth a lot if you have him in your collection today. Number 7. Next up on the list is another villain. This is Slackjaw from the Hands of Time season of LEGO Ninjago, and of course he is one of the Vermilion Warriors. This minifigure goes for around $2.30 in new condition these days. He came in three sets back in the Hands of Time season, Dragon's Forge, Vermilion Invader, and the $10 set called Vermilion Attack. And so it was mostly because of that $10 set that this minifigure isn't worth as much to this date. He is a really cool one though. I really like the actual aesthetics of the Vermilion Warriors. I really like the helmet as well and all the snakes that come in and out of the body. I think it's a very clever looking minifigure. But of course he did come in a lot of different sets and he was very common back in the day. Number 6. 
Coming in at number 6 on this list is the first LEGO Ninjago movie minifigure. This is Casual Lloyd, he came in the $20 Ninjago City Chase set, which let's be honest, that was probably one of the lowest rated Ninjago movie sets out of the entire bunch. I don't know, I kind of saw it all over the place, it was always on shelves, it was always being clearanced off, not really sure if that was just my area, but I guess just my city just wasn't a big fan of the set, I don't know if yours was. But as for the actual minifigure, it is pretty cool to see that hoodie torso print there for Lloyd, it is still one of my favorite Lloyd minifigures from the Lego Ninjago movie, but it just isn't worth that much. Number 5. Here we have another Lego Ninjago movie minifigure. This is Zane with his ninja wrap on. The Zane minifigure with his hair is also not that valuable. However, this one is a little bit less valuable. This minifigure goes for around $2.09 these days because he did come in five different sets in the run of Ninjago movie sets, including Destiny's Bounty, the Fire Mech, Garmadon's Volcano Lair, Ice Tank, and the $10 Spinjitzu training set. So although he is one of the main ninja for the movie, the minifigure just isn't worth that much because he was so commonly used in the different sets. Number 4 Here's an interesting minifigure that made this list. This is from the rebooted season of Ninjago. This is the Nindroid Drone. This minifigure only goes for around $1.90 in new condition these days. So we're in the $1 price range and let me just tell you it gets lower from here. So be sure to stay tuned. Now this minifigure is what I like to call basically the less upgraded Nindroid because he doesn't have the mask that goes over his head and he also doesn't have any leg printing. So right off the bat, it would make sense if this minifigure is not worth that much. However, it gets even worse. This minifigure came in the $12 set Hover Hunter, as well as the Battle for Ninjago City set, which was the largest set of the rebooted wave. Nonetheless, he wasn't a very desirable minifigure to have, and he also came in the cheapest set of the wave of sets. Number three. Now before we take a look at the top 3 least valuable Ninjago minifigures, be sure to give this video a thumbs up down below if you guys are enjoying it, and if you guys are not already subscribed to the channel, why aren't you? You guys will be able to stay up to date with all the current Ninjago action, including all the news for 2019, so be sure to do so, and let's go ahead and jump right back into this list. Alright, here we have at number 3 the Lego Ninjago movie Kai minifigure with hair. It's kind of interesting that this minifigure is worth a whole lot less than the Kai minifigure with the ninja wrap. This minifigure is worth $1.85 these days and came in the Master Fall set as well as the Piranha Attack set. Now the thing with this minifigure is that a lot of these pieces that make up this minifigure are able to be obtained from other Kai minifigures. So like from the collectible minifigure series, you could get the Kai minifigure from there. I personally just find it kind of interesting that just throughout the entire Ninjago movie wave, the Kai and Zayn minifigures seem to be the cheapest out of the bunch. I'm not sure why they don't hold their value as much. Perhaps it really just is because of that very cheap $10 Spinjitzu training set but I guess we'll really never know. Number 2 We are almost at the top spot on this list, but here as the runner-up, or should I say runner-ups, plural, there's actually two here that have basically tied for this second spot. This first one here is the Shark Army Thug that goes for around $1.50. That is a very measly low price for this figure in its new state as well as the Shark Army Gunner that comes in at around $1.52. And so both of these minifigures are very, very cheap. They're kind of the filler minifigures for the Ninjago movie sets. There's nothing much special about them. All the pieces that make up these figures really aren't that unique, and I guess the most unique thing are the face prints, but then again, they do come in quite a few of the LEGO Ninjago movie sets, and so they're not very desirable and thus are not very valuable. And number one. And here at the top spot on this list, or maybe should I say the lowest spot since he is the least valuable Ninjago minifigure, this is the Sons of Garmadon biker named Scooter. 
Now this figure is only worth a measly 99 cents. That is the average price of him of the minifigure being bought on Bricklink over the last six months. That's pretty crazy that this minifigure in its brand new state, so never used, is only worth not even one dollar. However, it is very easy to see why this minifigure isn't worth hardly anything. Not only are the Sons of Garmadon members not worth much to begin with, there were quite a few minifigures that just barely did not make this list that are from the Sons of Garmadon, but this scooter minifigure in particular came in the ridiculously common polybag titled Sons of Garmadon. It was basically just him on a small little bike, and it was practically available everywhere. Not only that, he also came in a foil pack with the Ninjago magazine in Europe, so if you live in Europe you probably saw that there. He came in one of those foil packs that basically came free with the magazine. And so with those two combined, this Sons of Garmadon scooter minifigure is by far the least valuable LEGO Ninjago minifigure to this date. And those are the top 10 least valuable LEGO Ninjago minifigures. Now before you leave this video, be sure to comment down below if you have any of these minifigures and if you're surprised of some of these minifigures that made this list. Of course, if you guys have not already checked out my video of the top 10 most valuable Ninjago minifigures, I highly recommend you guys go ahead and check it out because there are some Ninjago minifigures that are worth easily over $35. So be sure to go ahead and check out that video, there's a card on screen right now, and there'll also be a link down below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, I'm Spipricks. if you guys have enjoyed, be sure to give this video a thumbs up down below, and subscribe if you guys are new. That's pretty much it though for this video, I will see you guys in the next video, coming very soon.